Happy National Coming Out Day! Hi, I'm Devin. And I'm Rob. And we're dads, not daddies. We don't have the kids this weekend, they're with their mom, so... Cheers! What are we having? What is this green concoction? <laughs> Alcohol. If you're watching this on the day that we release it, which is October 11th, that is National Coming Out Day. And we wanted to talk a little bit about the process of coming out and give you some advice from two seasoned veterans in coming out. Dad advice, if you will. Yeah, dad advice. We wanted to talk about three major components that are important in the coming out process. They kind of build on each other. You know? Right. The first is identity. So as an individual, the next one is relationships and how you relate on a one-on-one -on -one basis with other people, whether it be with a romantic partner, with your family, with your friends, whatever it might be. And lastly is community, kind of the broader spectrum of um, feeling support from a group of people who are like you. So for me, establishing who I was as an individual was easy because I, I mean easy, but it was easier <laughs> You're even <getting> drunk too. <laughs> but easier because I was financially independent. I was away from kind of the people that I was afraid of finding out. So I was kind of able to explore and establish myself um, as an individual apart from that and then introduce those people to kind of who I felt like I was becoming. Which leads us into number two, relationships. Well, I just had some thoughts about my, to compare contrast, my experience before we get into that. You, you know, were financially stable and a, like, independent adult. I was like just married to a woman um, when I started addressing my attraction to men. Sure. Which was not necessarily the best place for me to be coming out, but I mean, it needed to happen. So, yeah, um, yeah I mean, it, Coming out sometimes it's just a process that happens to you and sometimes it's something that you kind of have to face the reality of and address. As far as my own experience with identity goes, I went from viewing myself as a straight man that had a problem with being attracted to men to identifying fully as a gay man and that was very much a process that I went through over you know, a number of years. My coming out experience, because I was married to a woman, very much affected my relationship with her, as well as those around me, which leads us into relationships. Relationships! <laughs> which... That was not very well coordinated. Relationships. Once you've established yourself as an individual, as an LGBTQ plus individual, then it's start time to start thinking about your relationships with people, especially those that you're close to. Well, and coming out is a, has so much to do with relationships because Coming out to someone means that you value your relationship with them and connect with them on a deeper level. Um, and so, don't. There's no reason to come out to somebody that you don't have a strong relationship with that you don't feel like you need to continue that relationship with. Uh, save yourself the torture and pain, or do like a Facebook post. Which brings us to number three: community. Community. Our experience finding community as LGBTQ plus individuals differed greatly. I was in a marriage and was very Mormon, and so I needed to reach out. What? I was in a marriage it's and fine. very Mormon, and no, I was Mormons living, are robotic. No, I was living a very robotic <laughs> life. It's true. I needed to reach out to find people that I could relate to, that I could confide in, that I could feel comfortable with, um, and I found that you know, through affirmation and through a bunch of other online support groups and I joined like 50 of them. For those of you who are struggling with the coming out process, there are people on Reddit, there are people on Facebook, there are people on YouTube, there are so many resources, whether real or virtual, for you to find a community of people that are like you, especially if you're in a small town or in a really conservative community like we were growing up. There are places for you to find people like you to feel supported and to feel like you're not alone. For me personally, it just sort of happened organically. I moved to a new city and I happened to move into a house with a couple of other men who happened to be gay. We didn't plan it that way. I didn't know that they were gay. We weren't out to each other. The gay frat house, if you will. <laughs> I call it the gay frat house. But over the course of time, we came out to each other, we started going out together, and we kind of grew this group of friends together who were supportive and open and... 
Ugh, I'm burping so much. And it tastes like mint lemonade. We just kind of came together because we had shared experiences. A lot of us came from the same conservative backgrounds. My personal community had to change drastically from being, you know, very much a part of the LDS church to leaving it behind and going to brunch, uh, <laughs> you know, and just uh, forming friendships and connections and finding other people that valued me and what I had to offer and valued my the way that I identify and didn't judge me harshly for that. And that's important is the community helps you to feel safe and it helps you to feel valued. The number one point in every single step of this process is when you feel safe. And whether that's creating safe space for yourself by finding someone on Instagram to follow who you look up to, or finding a group of friends at school who might identify uh, with similar interests, or if you have a gay-straight alliance at your school, um, or if you're an adult, LGBT resource centers, pride centers, whatever it might be in your city. This is a little dad advice for you this evening. Just keep in mind your identity uh, and feel free to take time to figure that out. Keep in mind the relationships in your life that are important to you. And remember to establish a community where you feel safe and surrounded by the people who are like you, who celebrate you for who you are because you're beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to finish off these cocktails and happy coming out day. Hi guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share your comments or experiences in the comment section down below. We've left you with some resources and links in the description box. And if you want to see more, subscribe. That was painless.